This video will go over how easy it is to set up templates using Feedback Wiz. First, navigate into your Template Manager page by clicking on the Campaigns tab above and from the drop-down selecting Template Manager. Once you're inside this page, you'll be able to see all of your templates stored within this page. If you're new, this page is most likely blank. So to get started, go ahead and click on Create New Email Template so we can create an email from scratch. When you click on that option, you'll be able to see this pop-up for Buyer-Seller Messaging Communication Guidelines. Make sure to read this thoroughly to ensure that you are safe within Amazon's Terms of Service. So for a template name, this is internal, so for your reference only, you can go ahead and type out whatever you would like right here. Seller Feedback is the template that we will be working on today. The email subject line, make sure this is something compelling so your buyer will open up the email. We're going to write out regarding your Amazon order and you're able to use any of these variables above. We're going to go ahead and just plug in the order ID variable by simply copying and pasting it over. For a logo image, you're able to upload your logo by clicking on this upload button. Make sure it does not display or contain a link to your website. For email attachments, make sure those are also TOS compliant and you can upload them by clicking on this upload option. For attachments, make sure they are any of the following such as product warranty, product instructions, invoices, etc. For label color, this is also internal, so just for your reference as well, so it helps stay organized if you do plug in any label color. For the email language, we're going to go ahead and use English right here. So FeedbackWiz has the ability to detect the buyer's preferred language setting within their Amazon account. You are able to select and set up your buyer-seller messaging in different languages. When a buyer-seller messaging email is sent out, FeedbackWiz will detect to see if you have a message set up in the buyer's preferred language for that specific order. If you have not set up a template to match the language of the order, FeedbackWiz will not send out an email for that order. Sending emails in the buyer's preferred language is a requirement by Amazon. FeedbackWiz will not automatically translate your messages. You can copy and paste your own translated messages into FeedbackWiz, or you can use any of our pre-built templates which are translated, which I will show before the end of this video. So right now we're going to use English as the language. Then below here is your content box. This is where you would be typing and this is the live email preview box. So today, since this is a seller feedback request, we're just going to type out hello there. Thank you for purchasing. You can use any of these variables which are TOS compliant. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the order ID variable by clicking on insert into editor. Paper purchasing, which contains. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the product custom short title so you can see it is displayed right here. I would appreciate it. So any of the Formatting is going to be available right here. Make sure you don't have any more than three different font sizes within your template. And inside the live email preview box, you'll be able to see how this will look like with your various orders. So the variables will populate accordingly. And all you would have to do is click save. So once you save this, you'll be able to see the option for managing language variations. This is where you would go ahead and click on edit for any of the following languages and once you do click on edit you would be able to go ahead and translate your message into that template by clicking on edit right here. So for the Spanish version of this template that we just created, seller feedback, you would go ahead and 
translate the message over to this side so you'll be able to see the Spanish language over here within your live email preview. Let's go ahead and show you the pre-built templates by going into Template Manager again. So if you click on Load Pre-built Template, these are templates that are already provided for you to go ahead and load and start using. These have all been translated into the languages that are detected by Amazon. So you can go ahead and just click View Template for Seller Feedback Request. For the pre-built templates, these are really easy to use because everything is already pre-filled for you. You are able to go ahead and edit anything that you would like, such as the template name, the email subject line. You can manage the language variations as well. You can upload your logo. Again, make sure it does not contain or display a link to your website. This is where you would apply any email attachments by uploading it. The messaging is already ready for you to go ahead and use and all you would have to do is click save. So once you have clicked saved, you can always send yourself a test email as well to see how it will look like within your buyer's main inbox. Once you have set up the templates, make sure that you go ahead and set up your campaign. That will automate this email message for you. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and for more information, please visit feedbackwiz.com.